Oh, hello, Internet. So what's up with all these news stories about the Arctic sea ice that's melting, along with Greenland? Should we be, you know, worried about things? Greenland is mostly just ice, whereas Iceland is mostly green, in order to confuse people. But it's the one with the ice, Greenland, that hit a record low this year and it's melted, practically completely melting. But also take note, melting records are typically measured by satellite data, and the satellite data for Greenland only goes back to 1979. That's a lot of missing data. Decades. Mm, not untrue. Millennia? Eras? Timeline of knowledge about the interstellar and intergalactic mediums on a geological scale. But still, with all of this missing data, are we headed in the right direction? Even the highest area at Summit Station in central Greenland, 3.2 kilometers above sea level, showed signs of melting. But there are other ways of studying the history of ice without using satellite data. Caitlin Keegan, with two E's in Keegan, looked at ice cores to determine that Greenland has been in a cycle of melting like this once about every 150 years and happened last back in the summer of 1889. NASA's research team member and glaciologist Laura Koning concurred, i.e. just the cycle of nature? Let's just hope everything stays cool for the next 150 years like she says, or we may have a problem. And what about all this Arctic melting? The Arctic is basically melting too. In particular, melting its way this week into a minimal sea ice tie with the all-time low record of 2007. Back when your ancestors were just kids. Comma. Back when your ancestors were just kids? They might have just walked right across from Siberia to Alaska, or maybe skipped along a northern Atlantic route on logs. But not today. Of course, satellite data doesn't go back all that far, but you guessed it. Ice cores do show this is not the first time for the Arctic either. We contacted Dr. Julie Brigham Grett, one of the world's leading glacier geologists who studied many ice cores of the Arctic regions for years to see if she noticed any patterns or cycles over the ages that might suggest this year's record lows are just par for the course. Many people are now studying sea ice history over geologic time, and we have some good ideas of other times over the past few hundred thousand years why the ice extent increased or decreased over time. In the past, the cause for less ice was minor changes in the shape of Earth's orbit around the sun, or small changes in the sun. But the rate of loss now is amazing, and it is not due to any of the causes we have seen in the recent geologic past. It has to be related to the warming of the planet caused by the burning of fossil fuels. Damn! Seven out of 12 of the ice shelves around the Antarctic Peninsula have disintegrated or are in the process of disintegration in recent years, after nearly 10,000 years of stability. I would not call that normal or cyclic. Antarctica too? Double damn. Might be time to stock up. <laughs>